Hey everyone, and welcome on back to Be Care of Use, where today we have part one of my Nightwing cosplay series. So, with part one, this is just kind of the sketching out what I want the design to be, kind of the pre-planning before we actually start making the suit. I'll throw up the pictures right here just so that you can see them in higher quality, but first up we have the mask. So, as you can see, it's just kind of this design from my previous Nightwing mask, which was just a modified Dark Knight kids mask. But I don't really like how the eyebrows jut out as much, and it's just kind of really angry for Nightwing. So whether I go with Tiger Stone FX, make one out of foam, I don't know. We're, that's, this is all just the planning stage. So next up we got the chest, and I'm mostly basing it off of the Arkham Knight chest where he has that big blue V that goes into the arms as well. But I am adding those little like edges and points like the Ismahawk Nightwing logo has. And my main idea for this is to have just the chest where it's like the blue V and then a little bit of black but then the abs I'm actually going to do out of gray fabric maybe a little bit of foam in there just to raise it up a bit but I'm just going to attach that to an under armor or dry fit like a uh, long sleeve black shirt. Oh, and those little lines that you see coming off of the top and the sides, that is going to be elastic, which will connect to other pieces. The back is pretty self-explanatory. It just kind of completes that design from the front. There's like going to be a lot more blue on it, and you can see how the elastic attaches um, connecting the two parts. Now, the big part about this is I'm going to be using a quiver. Like, not an official quiver, but a quiver-like um, holding apparatus, if you will, for my Eskrima sticks. Because usually Nightwing has them like this, or on his thigh, but I kind of wanted to mix things up, and also it's going to be um, easier just for me to do this way, but I'm going to have them both around one shoulder, so that you pull them out and put them in at the exact same time. It's kind of like how some of the Lego Ninjago minifigures have their swords stashed, and this will be really nice to just add my own personal touch on the Nightwing design. Holders are pretty simple. It's just going to attach to that uh, main like chest piece. I think I'm actually going to have it loop, like a loop of elastic that goes on the other piece of elastic, so then it can kind of slide back and forth as I move my arms. But it's just going to be pretty standard. There's going to be some gray on the sides, a line of black, and a lot of blue to continue from that V shape of the chest. It's also going to be a little bit of bicep armor. It's not going to be a whole lot, just a little bit, just to kind of continue that blue streak going along the arm. And now we have the gauntlets. As you can see, there are fingerless gloves on this card. Those are going to be just these fingerless gloves um, because I really like them and they're pretty tactical. So with the gauntlets, I'm going to be basing them mostly off of my stealth suit gauntlets from uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. If you want to check out that series, that will be in the iCard up there. But it's basically going to be some thin foam that wraps completely around my forearm. And then I'm going to add more layers of foam and obviously those blue spikes coming out and the blue streak right here. Hopefully just making it look like very Batman-y and kind of like the Arkham Origins suit, but just a little less bulky. I'm also going to be putting the elbow on the end of it like the stealth suit, just so that I don't have to worry with any elbow pads. Okay, so now on to the belt. I am actually going to add some practicality into this design because on the belt buckle, I plan on having a carabiner that I'll bend into shape and that like hook of the carabiner should be like the beak of the bird that like obviously Nightwing's logo is based on. So that will be, I won't actually use it for this, but in the world of like in the Batman universe, he would use it for repelling or something like that. I looked at some of the repelling harnesses and they all had that carabiner or loop. And I thought that that would just be a cool design touch to add into the belt. And you have some pretty standard medicine tubes as the uh, like tubes on the belt. Then I'll be making some pouches out of foam. So there'll be the belt buckle, two tubes, two pouches, and then one pouch on the back. The thighs are pretty simple, once again, based off of that stealth suit. Uh, the gray part that you see is actually going to be on the side of the thigh, and I just added that in to break up the black a little bit more, but honestly, not too much going on with these. The shins kind of continue that pattern, but now the gray part is on the front, <laughs> just to make it look more cool and more like armor. 
And yeah, these are pretty simple. Shoes shouldn't be that hard. I'm just going to use those black water shoes from the Stealth Suit because they're thin and they should do the trick. Obviously, I have the um, gloves already. I have these Screamer Sticks. As I said in the announcement video, I will be modifying these. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Should be pretty easy. Just the base, uh, like outfit and actual clothes are going to be a long sleeve black dry fit shirt and some tight black pants. I don't know what I'm going to use for those, but we're going to figure that out in another update. And here you go. This is the final sketch. Now obviously I was using pencil so it kind of blurs in and the grays kind of look like the blacks, but for our first sketch this is pretty nice and I'm really liking how this Nightwing is turning out. Anyone interested, here are my best friend's Batgirl designs. Now these are the ones that we kind of decided on. We did a Skype call just kind of discussing about which ones we thought went the best together and looked the best on their own as well. And obviously we will be tweaking them a bit just to make them look like they're from the same universe and both from like Wayne Tech and that kind of same design. There we have it guys, that is part one of the Nightwing cosplay series. If you guys are excited about the series and excited about where the costume is going, please do leave a like as that always, always helps. If you have any ideas that you want to let me know or you just like the video in general, please do comment them down below. And if you're interested in any of the content that I'm making or want to learn more about me, please do check out the channel and consider subscribing. But with that being said guys, as always, I will see you all in the next one.